Hello YouTube fam, it is me Crystal doing another video. Um, today we are going to be talking about my zebra isopaths and my ivory millipedes and I'm going to talk to y'all about how I care for them and what I feed them. Um, keep in mind that this is what I feed them is something different all the time. It's not never the same. So without further ado, let's get this party started. Okay, as you can see, this is their home and these are my zebra isopaths. Um, I got this bark because I know they like that and then I probably got some hiding under there as you can see there's a baby if my camera will focus and there's a big one and then I got some of these leaves in here which is technically their main diet and then I also I also put eggshells in here for their calcium I don't know if I have any I'll be back. Matter of fact, let me get that. Hold on, guys. Uh, Brian? Okay, guys, I'm back. I did. I did get the eggshells. I'm going to be crushing with it today. Um, but anyway, I got some spack of my moss. And then I got some cocoa fiber. And then, of course, the dead leaves that they munch on a lot. And let me see, the, let me see who's out. And there are some right there. And then, of course, they got a lot of babies in there, which is ha I'm happy with that. And I am trying to start a springtail culture in here. I got a few in here. I had to change this whole thing out because I think I had some type of mites or something in there. But, yeah, I done did that. And now, I got, now I'm putting springtails with them. Well, a lot more springtails to make sure. Let's hope that whatever was in here don't come back. But, yeah, there's some more. Okay, guys, and this is what I usually do with them. I'll just kind of like, and there's, tonight they're going to be getting fish food. And um, I'm going to put some eggshells in there because I don't see we're out of eggshells as well. So I'll just sprinkle it in there. Then I'll do the same with the fish food. Sprinkle a little bit in there. Not too much because, like I'm in, the leaves is their main diet. This is just for extra protein, whatnot. And then after that, I'll spray the leaves with a little bit of water so they can get the water. And guys, there you go. And that's how I do it. And I usually do this at night and done. Um, Keep in mind, sometimes I do feed them very ripe fruit and vegetables when I have it on hand. Um, like I said, they get different stuff all the time, so they don't be eating the same thing. Because um, I know even us, us as people, we won't want to eat the same thing 24-7. So I um, like that too with the animals. But without further ado, we are going to go to the ivory millipedes now. Okay, guys, we are here at the ivory millipedes. They are very similar to the... Um, Zebra isopads, uh, the dead leaves and the bark in here. And I think I, and then the cocoa fiber. And I think I see one of mine right there. Yep. And there's one hiding under it. So yeah, I just put that in there a lot too long ago. And I, I'm glad I did because they seem to enjoy it. My other one. I, my other one, my other one was out, but it went back to hiding right when I was about to do the video. So, well, at least we got one out of the bunch, and I am about to put food in here as well. So I'm gonna show this one one more time before I do. Yeah, both of them were out, but I guess the one saw the light, so it hurried up and went back under. And I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing for these guys, putting, um, feeding them and giving them their water. Put the food in right there and then sprinkle it on the leaves, some on the leaves, and, and then spray their thing as well so that they can have water. Oh, then I definitely I need to put some more eggshells in there because they're out too. Since I just had to change this whole thing because of mites or something in here. Okay, and that's how I do the ivory millipedes. The exact same way I do the 
Viva isopods. Okay, guys, last but not least, um, we got my jumping spider here. Um, no food today because I just put some in there the other day. But what I just do is spray a little bit of water. I'm going to give her a little bit of water, too. Um, I'm using only, only got two hands, so I'm going to do that probably after the video to make sure she don't try to escape again. Um, yeah, you guys, I just wanted to show you an update on how, um, kind of how I care for these guys. Um, I'll be doing the rest of my animals the same, but I just wanted to put these guys out there first. Um, other than that, if you like these type of videos, pets and plants mainly, please feel free to like, subscribe to my YouTube channel. I would love to have you as part of the Crystal's Pets and Plants fam. And until the next time, as always, you have yourself a safe day and stay blessed or night wherever you are.